This is called Super Mario Brothers 3 Plus. The Super Mario Bros. have defeated King Koopa and rescued Princess Toadstool. Everyone thought King Koopa had left the Mushroom Kingdom. And then... Did that cloud have a pipe in it? His Doom Ship attacked! King Koopa was back. With the greatest danger ever known. His Koopa Kids. Can the Super Mario Bros, Toad, and Princess Toadstool rescue the Mushroom Kingdom and beat back the evil Koopa family? Yeah, it's like the cartoon. So, there's some differences here. Like, playable characters that are different. Um, and then there, there's some stuff that we're going to... Yeah, the, the uh, sound is supposed to be an audience cheering. I think. So here's the credits. You can see who made it. Now, I don't really know how to switch characters, but, um... Yeah, it's Mario 3, but there's some... There's some extra stuff, including, um, new hammer suit functionality, and... Like Mario 2, you can switch characters, but I don't know how to switch characters yet. Oh, shit, you can do... Ground Pound. Huh. Anyway, this time of year, I like to play Mario World, but when I saw that this was released, I figured, let me do some Mario 3. Because it's been a while, and also this looks like a cool addition. Whoa! Oh man! Oh man! That's gonna be a bit of a problem. Is the uh, I'm gonna accidentally ground pound a lot. Just out of curiosity, do you ever plan on playing Wario Land Shake It? I have considered a 2023 stream of such a thing. I've considered it. I don't know if it's going to happen, but I'm going to try to make it happen. Shake, shake. Wait, how do you switch characters? Oh. Um... I guess we'll play as Luigi. Oh god, Luigi. Oh god, the, the old slippery Weege. Slippin' Weege. All oh, right, this music sends chat into a frenzy. I forgot about that. Chat, you don't remember Slippin' Ouija? Great TV show. About a lawyer named Ouija. Alright, chat. Count how many times the ground pound gets me killed. Throughout this playthrough. There's chat members that are like, I have no context for why the chat would shout, come, in the middle of that song. Oh boy. Look at Toad, he's so small. Uh, I don't really know what Toad's specialty is, but obviously Ouija jumps high. He screams. Oh, he kicks. 
toad can kick. What the fuck? Toad needs an adult to ride rides. Sorry, we gotta put the sound effects on the music channel, everyone. Just NES things. Ah! Toad has his kick from Mario's Woods. Oh yeah, I didn't consider that. You are correct. Now, that's a level you can get a flute. Well, good news, you can actually go back into levels. Damn it. The debate of whether this is the better Mario of the originals. I think it's, to me, it's pretty clear that this is the best of the original three. But is it better than Mario World? I usually say this is better than World, and I think I like it more because I like the, I like the power-ups in this more. Um, I like the secrets in World more. I think it just kind of depends on the day of the week, because there are times I would say Mario World's better than this. But, I guess overall, maybe I'm... Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, God! I think overall, maybe I have a little bit more... I favor this game a little bit more. It's kind of hard to describe what it was like to play this, you know, in the late 80s, or early 90s, rather, and kind of be a big Mario fan, and then this comes out, it's like, holy shit. Just the amount of stuff that you could do compared to the uh, original Mario, and even Mario 2, which was great, but the world map was like a huge innovation in and in, in of itself. But World probably perfected the formula. Rip, Golden Ship, or White Mushroom House secret. Wait, how do you do the Golden Ship? You have to get all the coins on that level? Get all coins in Stage 4? Gotta finish coins and timer on same double number. Wait, so is that for the coin ship, or is that for... Because imagine my fucking surprise when the coin ship appeared. That's one of those things that happened and made me want to just keep playing the game endlessly because who knows what else is going to show up in the game. I had no idea why the coin ship appeared. Missed the coin box? White Toad House. Hang on a minute, so... Alright, wait, 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 wait. But what about the, um... The golden coin ship? First one's close to the Oh, okay. So wait, do I have to end the timer on 181? I guess we'll try it. Oh 
Oh god. Oh god, hang on, hang on, hang on. The player must be either in World 1, Grassland, World 3, or World 5, or World 6. Um, Mario Luigi must finish a stage with a coin total ending in a multiple of 11. Zero does not count. The tens digit of the player score must match the multiple, 11. So if the coin total is 11, the tens digit must be 1. If the coin total is 22, the tens digit must be 2. As each second left on the timer... What? Fuck it. Oh god, no wonder. It's each second left on the timer will then award the player 50 points. The timer must be stopped on an even number so the player... The number of points received is a multiple of 100. Very easy to get. I get on one one every playthrough. That's for the treasure ship. Each second left on the timer will award the player 50 points. I really want to get the coin ship. Like, I kind of really wanted to get the coin ship, but I guess it's too late now. Now that it's too late, I just don't know how much I give a shit. Uh... I usually get treasure ship on world 2. Baby Petch. And yes, Peach can float. Oh. Got to be very very careful. Ground pound is a real problem. God, almost died there. I'm fine. That was a secret that my cousin and I discovered by accident. Once you discover something like that by accident for the first time, it's over. You're addicted to video games. I guess, forget the white toad house. You know what? Hang on. White toad house, Mario 3. It's a secret mushroom house that appears when you collect all the coins in a particular level. You know what? We can still do that. You hold down on a white panel. I don't think we're gonna get the coin ship, but we can probably do this. He's white. You just have to get all the coins in this stage to get the white toad house. God damn it! Yeah.
Told you Ground Pound is gonna be a menace. I know, well, no, I, I'm good now. Now I know where it is. It's fine. I know where it is now. Oh, please. You can actually, wait, you can stop the ground pound if you need to. Christ. How do you turn off ground pound? How do you turn it off? Don't press down? But but you need you need it. You you need to crouch in some parts of this game. trying, like, I have to be very, very careful here. Because usually when you, you know, when you play this game, at least when I do, you know, like, you really, like, bear claw that fucking, uh, D-pad. No, it's fine. I died because I want to get the coins, chat. I want to get the I want to get the white mushroom house. I never got the white mushroom house before. God damn it. No. It's okay, chat. You were one coin away from clearing the box. So wait, is it 44 coins total or just all? Stop that, Luigi. Ah! That wasn't enough, right? Because I didn't spam it. Chat, I am now completely driven. Also, this 
small Luigi kind of looks like he's missing legs. And, like, he's got, like, one big arm that's going into the ground. isn't the smoothest because I'm I'm using the biz hawk okay 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 use ground pound to get coins faster on the block I, I don't think it works that way in this I don't I don't think it does at least Mother of God. <laughs> Please try a different level. No. It's this level. If you want to get the white pee, pee you gotta go through this level. World 2 also has one? Okay. I think I did it. I think I did it, chat. Now I just need to live. White, white mushroom house! All right, great. Well, the coin ship is going to be a completely different problem. Hang on. So, about the power-up box. The power-up will make you... will go right if you hit the box from the left. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, the scrolling doesn't look so great because of the the biz hawk. Get fifty five coins on oh. Uh the palette mismatch? I I kinda remember that from the original. There's an anchor item. Yeah, I kind of vaguely remember the anchor item. Just try to get a multiple of 11? I mean, if that's all I have to do, then that, that shouldn't be too difficult. A little too late now, but... So multiple of 11 on this is just 77, no? But then, what else do I have to do? Multiple of 11 and then there's something else. I have the guide here, but...
11 coins, 244 timer. End the stage with an even number on the clock. Coins must be a multiple of 11. The tens digit of your score must be the multiple of 11 that corresponds to your coins. Wait, what? There must be a hammer bro on the map, so you- Okay. Alright, fuck that. All this to get a coin ship? I kind of feel like... Why do you do? Why do you do this? Shoot. I kind of feel like the reason it's so convoluted to get the coin ship is because it's supposed to seem random. So that, like, babbies who are playing the game, like when I was playing it, are surprised when they see it. And it's not an easy thing to figure out how to repeat. Please? Is there a reason you're not using Rewind? Well, when I play through NES games... Um, ...that aren't, like, on a Sunday stream... I try not to use Rewind because it just cheapens the fucking cock out of the experience and pulls on it. And, uh, I don't wanna... I don't- I don't wanna, like, cause then it's not, like, actually meaningful to complete the game. It rips the skin! So it turns out, if you hover with Peach, you gotta press the button again. When you're in the air, and if you let go and try to press it again, you don't hover anymore. So, I, I'm learning. Yeah, Baby Peach is a weird sprite. I, I really, really don't like the ground pound. It's way too easy to activate. Wow, it took this long to get through level one. World one. Flip! Vinny, have you ever fainted? Yeah, I fainted in a Wendy's once. <laughs> I was just so excited for food. What, you don't faint in Wendy's, chat? I, I, yeah, I was going for the Frosty Challenge. And the idea was to drink four Frosties in a row as quickly as possible. If so, you'd win tickets to Adventure Park. No, I haven't. I haven't fainted at a Wendy's. the item block. Is there not supposed to be an item block here? Eh. They didn't have this, the, the, the Rick and Morty merch? Yeah, it turns out 
they didn't have the Szechuan sauce. It turns out they didn't even make the Szechuan sauce, so I got so angry I fainted and puked and shit and pissed all over the place. Thank heavens, I'm back to my old self again. Thank you so much. Please take this. If you see any ghosts, be careful. They will give chase if you turn away enclosed as a jewel that will protect you. Oh. Try beating this world with the frog suit? No, we don't want to do that. Also, I have access to Luigi, Toad, Peach, and I'm using Mario. What the fuck? He is my Italian self-insert. Okay, there is a way- again, there is a way to cancel the, uh, ground pound, but it kind of- it's not enough. Like, I know I'm gonna accidentally continue, um... Pulping myself. Oh, come on! Well, that makes getting in here easier. Imagine that. Imagine a tanuki tail, or a raccoon tail in this case, destroying fire. There's a hidden area up here somewhere. Um, another thing I like about Mario 3 Overworld, even maybe, is how short the levels are. Not all of them, but a good chunk of them are pretty... pretty easy to complete pretty quickly. Favorite Super Mario Bros. 3 world? I like the big world, and I like pipe world. Those were my favorites as a kid, and I still... I still think those are my favorites. <laughs> my own creation, it's the mush flower. I mean, the ice world has some cool stuff in it. I don't think there's a world I actively dislike in Mario 3. Oh wait, I have to get all the coins here, right? This level has the white toad house. Alright, let me go for the coins then. But it's the anchor. You can use the anchor with the um, coin ships. Oh wait, no. Oh, oh, oh! I've, I've already. Oh. I'll try again. I mean, you can just redo the level. You don't need to die. I don't know why I did. I 
I like when the NES sound chip struggles. No. That's kind of fucking kind of tough. Hit the P block ahead of time. Like, oh, like that? I was morbing. It's fine. Scoot deadlifting 500 pounds. I guess you can get those coins first and then go back. One more time. Stop pressing down. Oh, I I would love I would love to stop pressing down. It's my dream to stop pressing down.
Is there a way to change the sensitivity of the buttons? Hmm. I'm just checking some stuff here. Because I feel like it's... it's pressing down. Oh. Unbind down, but then crouching is gonna be weird. I don't want to play Mario 3 where I have to press Z to crouch or something. I've had quite enough of this level, and I don't care about the white mushroom pee, -pee anymore. But, like, seriously, I, there's got to be a way to get rid of, like, diagonal. What? I'm, okay, you know what? Uh, I'm done. I'm done fucking around! I have rebound. I know my muscle memory and my instincts are gonna throw me off completely when I need to, like, crouch. Retry the level, you'll get it on the first try. Use the D-pad. Oh yeah, no, I'm using the D-pad, I have been. And it's on the 8-bit-do controller, so it's a good controller. It's not poop. I wonder if I can kick. Kick. Nope, kick doesn't work. Yes! Oh, if I want to go down on the map, I have to press R now. That's fucking normal. Normal and fun. Well, this has been more frustration than fun so far. Over one goddamn button. Can't you play with a keyboard? Can someone explain why there's a blasphemer in chat? If this was 40k, it's like he just said... He said, fuck the Emperor. Well, whoa. When I had to, I was playing games on my laptop with the keyboard back in the day. But uh, if I'm going to be playing Nintendo games, I'm going to use a controller. I, it's just, you know. No, there was no lemon party on that on that laptop. The 
that is a really great music loop. Chad, I don't- I don't know, man. Something is seriously- like, I'm already- Whoa, is this like extra laggy than usual? Um, I am off tonight. Like, my brain is not here, it's not with us. Oh, you can wall jump? Wait, only as Toad, or...? Accidental diagonals are easy on to do on the SN30 Pro. So wait, is this a controller issue? I was like, why can't I enter the pipe? Oh, right. One second, chat. I gotta go get another controller. Chat, quite honestly, this accomplished nothing. Sure, the controller works. But it's the one that's making me ground pound. I tried the Xbox controller, I tried the PS4 controller, nothing. So sure, I can play the game, but I'm gonna be ground pounded my way into death. Oh well. Well, I'm here, so I guess that's really all that matters. How do you manage to fuck up your PC in so many ways? Bro, this is a new install. Like, th this computer is this year. Like, I don't- I don't understand why Windows would just not recognize controllers all the sudden. Though I do wonder if it's Steam related. Like having Steam open or something, I'm not really sure. Oh, come on, no, it's no spin. Oh, oh god, I glitched Peach. Might actually be because Steam was screwing up Mike's controller at one point. Yeah, this has happened plenty of times. PS4 usually doesn't work outside of Steam. You know, a program called DS4 Windows. I, I used to have that program. I don't believe I have it anymore, but... Oh, right. I have to press R. I think I'm gonna stop buying 8-BitDo controllers from now on. It's a shame because they feel like they're really good controllers. And then... The buttons end up sticking. And then like, three other things end up happening. And you saw my gamer hours on Steam. But yeah, I've- I've gone through a couple of these goddamn things, and there's always some problem. Oh 
well. Uh, but yeah, 3k viewers pulped. I'm sure a couple will come back. It does, doesn't really matter too much. I'm still here. I'm playing the video game. But that does happen. Whenever there's a restart. Also, I have um, put the ground pound back on down because playing, playing a game while pressing R to move down is just absurd. Wow. You smart, chat. You loyal. Anyway, I'm looking for someone. I want to hire someone to change the diaper on Zub. If anyone wants to um, take that job. Nortz's son. Vinny, why don't you just use the Pro Controller, because it's not usually um, natively compatible with a lot of stuff. What I mean by that is... I think you also need DX Wind for that, too. Just use an Xbox controller. Yeah, I, I remember I did use an Xbox controller for a long time. I don't remember why I stopped, but I, I do remember having some problem with an Xbox controller. And just now, I tried to connect an Xbox controller, and it didn't work. So... Pound. The new Xbox Series X controllers are really nice. The new D-pad is way better than the previous ones. Did you try connecting wirelessly? I have never had any luck connecting controllers wirelessly. Like, I finally now have Bluetooth on this motherboard. Wow, that was good. And, um, I've tried, and I have not been successful. Again, I think I'm just... Oh, okay, that was an un unintentional ground pound. Fuck you! Yeah, if I can help it, I'd rather use wired, but the, the problem is just, again, finding a controller that, you know, that I can use for a lot of stuff, including classic stuff. So I want a good D-pad for shit like this. Yeah, Luigi, jump. Jump high. Uh, I don't want to have to switch controllers every time I play a game. Chat member. Like, if I'm gonna be playing... You know, if I need an adapter for every controller... That's gonna suck. And then, like, you know, have, have to have all the controllers lined up. Like, I'm playing NES today, time to use an NES controller. Use hammer on rock. You know, chat member, that sentence is very close to another word. Yammer.
three. That was another cool secret. Like, I want to share more of my memories of this game as I have done in the past. There's really not a whole lot different here, aside from, you know, like, the characters, but... Was this, um, always... Was this yellow or orange always this level? I don't know why I said that like that. Maybe Yoder? It was? Okay. See, now I'm looking for, like, changes where there are none. God, were the fucking frame rates always this bad? Or, or rather, the, the slowdown? No? I is this Luigi's fault? It is. Okay. Damn it. I'm playing on Ultra. Yeah, these are the highest graphic settings. It's not as bad on original hardware. Yeah, something seems to be a little fucked up with this Mario Plus stuff. Chat, I think I'm gonna use warp whistles. Reason being is uh turn off RTX. Yeah, I know look at look at those graphics. Look at that lighting. This is illegal, you know. Yeah, I might use warp whistles just so I don't have to um, go through the whole game like this. I I'm somewhat disappointed by the poor performance. I'm disappointed with the ground pound. That's a controller problem more than a game problem. I mean, an option to turn it off would be nice, but... Um Yeah. So yeah, I'll probably just warp whistle my way to the end of the game. The best part about this, though, are the characters definitely add a little something. And you can wall jump as any character, I think. Just back from the ER, thankful for Vinny. Holy fuck. Sounds like... fart music. Well, chat member... Life... Let me- let me give you a little something here. <laughs> As Mario has proven, life... is short... and it is... It is far too dumb... to take seriously every day. So I'm glad you're here. What do you mean? Oh, Vinny, I think you need to take a break. No. Here's what I need to do. I need to... I need to play an even more frustrating game. I need to play Bayonetta 3. Please stop!
I also need a band-aid because um my finger is bleeding. I'm dying, chat. What have I done? Uh, it's an I'm a nail biter. And um I when I was <laughs> when I was restarting the computer, I was like <laughs> So I'm I'm bleeding out currently, chat. Even if I'm not stressed. Yeah, nail biting sucks. It's not a fun uh habit. Wear your coin gloves. Honestly, I, I think that would be the solution. Nail bite gloves. Wow. Wow. Yeah, yeah, wow. There you go. So I just said, I, I feel your pain, bro. I'm a, I'm a habitual cockbiter when I'm anxious. <laughs> what? <laughs> we have like a chat room of like deviants and Norm McDonald's. Yeah, I, I feel your pain because I, I, yeah, I was like a cockbiter when I, you know. <laughs> Why would I waste the thing to get the fire? Oh yeah, no, this is- this is the most piss-poor, shit-ass playthrough of Mario 3 I've ever... I've ever done. That's ground pound underwater, chat. Is it only in Mario World where you can control your, um, speed holding down? Don't do as I do, chat member. Don't bite your nails. <laughs> uh, okay. I do like this world quite a bit. There's a lot of good stuff in here. But, uh, I- yeah, and again, Giant Land is- is another good one. But I think I've just about had enough of this. <laughs> so, okay, there's- there's three things that are working against us. Chat. Number one... is... the controller. Number two is... my temperament tonight. And number three is... I don't like the performance. Every now and then it dips really bad into some, like, extreme slowdown. But, I do like the new characters. I like the wall jumps. Apparently the hammer suit has new functionality, which we're not gonna find out. Like, the hammers can break bricks. So that's kinda cool. Um, but I'm gonna just try to warp to the end of this, I think. This is a good level. I mean, there's a lot of good levels in Mario 3. There's a lot of memorable ones. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm not looking forward to World 8, especially with Ground Pound. But, just a little bit of, um... Just gonna get a little bit of World 7. Uh, so yeah, I I'd like to apologize for this playthrough of Mario 3. However, I'm gonna make a promise to you, chat member. Which is, in 2023, I will play Mario 3. In full. I might play the All-Stars version, because I don't think I've ever actually played that, like, on stream. Maybe someone can prove me wrong, but I, I kind of feel like that would be a fun one to do. Have you played the GBA version? Yeah, I did, and I did the uh, bonus levels in that, too. Does the Super Mario 3 randomizer exist? It does. Have you considered maybe, maybe, just maybe, you have fat fingers? <laughs> uh, yeah. The problem is, I like to rest my, my whole thumb on the, on the D-pad, man. So, like, okay, that, for example, I wanted to slide in there and get into a slide while I'm jumping. But the problem with that is I, I ground pound. There's, you know what? This would be so much better if there was an option to turn off ground pound and wall jump. But then the performance is still going to be shitty, so I don't know. I'm just going to complain now. This is just complaints. I'm sorry. This has turned into complaints. That's just Mario 3. Well, I mean, yeah, but there, there isn't playable Luigi and Princess and Toad. Oh yeah, there is a Mario 3 All-Stars. Huh. Well... I don't know, man. I'm at a loss now. I don't really know. I haven't... I don't think I played the GBA version other than checking out the bonus levels. As we know, Vinny never plays the same game twi twice on stream. Twice. What did you think of DKC3? Oh, I loved it. Played it so many times. Love that character, Baby Kong. Favorite character, best... Damn it. DKC3 is worth playing. That's, for some people, um, that's their white whale holy grail of me streaming. Is me finally playing through, uh, DKC3. Sonic Frontiers, uh, we got um, Mario Luigi games, we've got Mega Man Zero Two. There's there's a lot of stuff. Oh, okay. There's a lot of stuff that people want me to play. Which, as I've said plenty of times, it's it's flattering that people want me to play games, but there's um, it becomes overwhelming when I look in the chat and I. It becomes a little overwhelming when someone gives it, like, asks a question, like, Vinny, what, will you play this game? And then I look in the chat, and it's like 10 more games, and then 20 more games. Uh, so I don't know how to make everyone happy. And, uh, in fact, I've, I think I've tried to, um, make people, you know, happy over the years and play, you know, things that people want me to play, or 
be the person I thought people wanted me to be, and the thing is, I'm just gonna continue making weird noises. And I'm just gonna play shitty Mario 3 gameplay for you all. I'm still waiting you f uh, for you to play the rest of the game where you shit on Hitler, says a chat member. Well... <laughs> it's better than the other game... ...that they sell. You can skip the whole level by swimming under the boats. Okay. Fuck, I was mashing. I was mashing! I mashed so much, chat. I didn't stop mashing. In fact, I was mashing harder than I ever mashed in my life. This is the worst playthrough of Mario 3 I've ever done since I was- Oh, you know what? No, not ever. Maybe since I was, like, six. When I was six years old, I probably did a worse playthrough of Mario 3. There's a oh hi, on uh, Will Arnett's podcast that he does with Jason Bateman. Um, I just wanted to share a story real quick because I think you'll enjoy it. Jason Bateman bought Ernest Borgnine's house. For those who don't know who Ernest Borgnine is, just some older actor, funny, kind of weird dude, and he was in Escape from New York as the cabbie. And um, in an interview, he was asked, how did you live such a long life? And he was like, you know, I, I'm just squeezing him out on a regular basis. So, yeah, he's just like squeezing all over the place. And cock and... and uh, yeah, he said I masturbate a lot. That's what he said, right? So, um, yeah, Jason Bateman, great name for the occasion, by the way. Is, is trying to, like, explain to Will Arnett that he didn't, you know, he wasn't, like, wanking, and Will Arnett's like, nah, he's wanking all, all over the house. There's lo hidden loads throughout the house, everywhere. You know, like, cabinet, um, bedroom, everywhere. Hidden loads. Um, so James Cameron is being interviewed, and then they bring it up, and Will Arnett's like, no, no, Jay, you should, you should tell him about, about you know, your house. Um, so James Cameron is being interviewed and they're making sure that he knows the, stir the story of Ernie Borgnine cranking out loads in Jason Bateman's house. I'm not making this up. The reason I bring this up is because Will Arnett said a very funny euphemism and I don't remember exactly what he said. It was really, really funny and I liked it and I don't remember what he said. Oh, fuck. No, he- during the, um, this isn't a bit, this is real. Does anyone know, did anyone listen to this podcast when he was telling James Cameron about Ernest Borgnine living a long, healthy life? No. I swear I didn't make it up. 
Ah, uh, well. Anyway, I just wanted to know what the euphemism was for it, because it was really funny. This podcast does not exist. I... Chat. I'm gonna find it during the BRB. I'm gonna find it now. I'll find it right now. I just want to know what he said and how he said it. Hang on. Check. Give me a give me a time stamp. What was that like? This available hundred percent aging. So is for that technology. Mm, never mind. I'm not gonna find it. I tried, chat. I gave it. I gave it the old college try. I gave it a good attempt. I just wanted to prove. Okay. I've had just about enough of Luigi shit. What are you trying to prove tonight? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Apparently it's near the end of the podcast. No, I mean, it's not the laggiest thing ever. I- I could probably- I just don't think... I think... You know, I gave it a shot. And I just don't have it. What did you do on Escape from New York? Um, weren't you like the visual effects Oh my god, this is it. Photographer this is it. I was the co-supervisor of visual Holy effects shit. with another guy named Robert Skotak, who was a a pal of mine back then. And we did it all really old school stuff, paintings on glass and things like that. Yeah, that's so cool. Ernest Borgnine was in that, yeah. Do you have any do you have any uh, uh, ability to prove the fact? Will's got a theory that Ernest not Borgnine- a theory. He, Not he, a theory? He, he gave he an interview, it, yeah. in multiple what interviews. Jay, Jason lives in Ernest Borgnine's old house. Wow. And, and, and Will is convinced that? Not convinced. He said in a couple uh, uh, interviews that uh, somebody asked him what, what was the key to his longevity, and he and he claimed that it was a. a you're 91 years old. You look fantastic. You look like you're, you're in your late 60s, uh, yeah. early 70s. What's the secret? I don't dare tell you. <laughs> no me. You don't eat dollar. me. I masturbate a lot. Ritual of daily <laughs> masturbation, and I said, Jason, when you're in your house, do you imagine Ernest, uh, you know, in different parts of the house, just kind of leaning over the banister, up against sure. the wall of the dining room, sure. whatever, <laughs> performing this act in 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 an exercise? Why is he of always keeping standing up? Well, Why is he standing? Because he's but, trying to stay older. He's trying to oh, he's oh, trying oh, to yeah. live longer. Anyway, I, I think it's a good plan. Yeah, I think it's a good plan. Do you ever see plan. any of that it's, on the set of, of Escape from the, New York? The beauty no. of of his plan is there's no downside. There it is. <laughs> you either live longer or you don't, but at least you're enjoying it every That's day. That's right. That's right. They say live for every day, right? So there you go. There you go. Thank you for that. And, and it's also also it's victimless. Now, did I see him <laughs> wanking on the set? No. Yeah. No. I, I can't help you with that. Right. Okay. You, you okay. never came back. To, you never came back to base camp and caught Ernest Borgnine <laughs> snapping one off. <laughs> um, James, <laughs> snapping one off. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's it. Thank you. You found it. He's snapping one off. I never heard that expression before. That's such a good expression. I told you, Chad, it's real. I told you it was real. All of it. Oh, sorry. Sorry, you had to hear that. Fuck this level. This nightmare of an auto scroller. 
It's not too bad, though, actually. Oh, boy. Whoa! Someone said I'm gonna force that into my vocabulary. Good. I'm just glad I don't know who Ernest Bologna is, says a chat member. Vinny, the chat member just got back from the ER and this is what you play? I want that chat member to laugh so hard that he has to get his stitches reinserted. This makes the whole level go by in the sna in the snap of a of a moment. <laughs> oh man. But, like, that's kind of... The podcast is usually pretty good. I like their guests. I like their their banter. They usually have a pretty good dynamic where they just make fun of each other. Sometimes a little too much. But, you know, you can tell they're friends. It's just... Uh, I like the idea that Jim Cameron goes on to talk about his Avatar movie, his goofy blue Avatar movie. And these guys are bringing up Ernest Borgnine's wank habits. It's not always that, you know, it's not always that. Like, sometimes they don't talk about piglet pinching. But I swear, that's like the third time I heard them talk about that, that exact topic with Ernest Borgnine. I didn't know who Ernest Borgnine is, was for the longest time. I just remember there was some movie I watched growing up where someone's wife looked like Ernest Borgnine was like an insult in the movie. You know, like, my wife. Oh, God! Mm. Chat, if I game over, I'm done. Because, yeah, Ernie Borgnine was before my time as well. I just, again, I know him mainly from Escape from New York. Maybe a couple other little things, and now I know him from Snapping. But, uh... Otherwise, I, I didn't really know who the guy was when I heard the name. Okay, good. Cops, the cock snapping guy is Mermaid Man's VA. Wait, who's Mermaid Man? Is that SpongeBob? Yep. Chat. That's him. Will, though. I, I mean, it is... Uh, what's wrong with it? James Cameron was right. Like, 
let the guy snap a little bit. I'm surprised you don't know him from Star Trek, says a chat member. He was Ernest Borg 9. Oh, God. Vinny, you're just mad you didn't make the joke first. Yeah, and? sucks. One time, the accidental ground pound actually saved me. Uh, chat, which door was it? Was it uh, the, the, the H, maybe? Oh, no, please do not ground pound accidental here. So that Borg 9 guy was the guy who goes, like, goes to jail or whatever? Well, since when is cranking one out a uh, jail-worthy problem? He was just trying to live longer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Pee Wee. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there's an asterisk. There's an asterisk. Whoa! We're fine. Fun fact, chat, this is one of my most hated levels in Mario 3. Like, easily. It's confusing, the jumps suck. Whoa, whoa! Course, it's irritating. And this happens. This happens. Yeah. It's confusing. Worst. Nobody tell him. Yep. Good. Hidden P block to the right. Too late now, chat member. <laughs> Don't do. Don't. Hidden P switch in block. Bum, bum. Bum, 
Huh? You heard about Borgnine from Grumpy Old Men. Walter Matthau says it. Oh, there you go. You just solved the mystery, chat, remember? The most unimportant mystery on the planet, but wow. Chat is good. They found the, the clip. They found out which movie it was. Whoa. They... Something... Something else as well. Oh! Please be the place. No! Well, what am I supposed to do with this, chat? Oh. Jeez. No, really, what am I supposed to do with this? God, how much of this level have I forgotten? Like, all of it? Yep, all of it. I love their mush face when they get mashed. Chat, there's still kind of hope that I could complete this. And actually, like, you know, get to the Bowser. Oh, thank you, chat. Yes. Grung pipe. Ooh. Oh, that really was the wrong pipe. This is one hell of a speed run. Controller problems, glitches, slow down, me restarting my computer, um, Ernest Borgnine, snapping hogs. Yeah, this has been some playthrough, all right. I have a feeling Will Arnett made that term up. In this case, WR equals worst run. <laughs> and PB, in this case, means pube boshi. Telling me I actually completed the level? Is there a hidden thing here somewhere, chat? Maybe? No? Mm. Thank God. Luigi jumped so high! <laughs> I wouldn't be able to make that sound again if I tried. That was just pure, like, frustration. Oh fuck, I'm on top of the thing.
No. It's just, you know, when you have a few lives left and you want the level to be over so bad, um, relatively simple tasks end up becoming Herculean feats. Show Herculean feats! Uh You know, like, otherwise I'd be able to just do that, no problem. I'm sticking with Weech. Save Peach as Peach. Oh, that's a really good idea. Well, if Ouija dies, that will be the next character I use. It maybe would work, but it does not. Oh, you got me. You tricked me, you, you king of the Koopas. What? God! Man! Stop ground pounding! The castle itself isn't too bad. Except for when you grab pound by accident. Very precise with my button presses here, chat members. I need Peach to save Peach. I need to know. Whoa, 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 why was I able to bounce off Bowser's head? I'm not complaining, that's just kind of... Can you, could you always do that? Ah, oh, shit. Ah. 
Bowser, you son of a fuck. I can't believe I actually stuck with this enough to complete it. Oh, this is the new ending. We did it. We saved the Mushroom Kingdom. Great job, everybody. Yeah, that was a piece of cake. So long, King Koopa. Bye. Bye, Koopalings. So, Mario, I think it's time we take a vacation. Any idea where we should go? I heard there's this magical place called Dinosaur Land. What could go wrong there? Sequel bait. I can't believe Mario talk. Hey, there's this magical place called Dinosaur Land. It's, it's again supposed to be a crowd making crowd noises. Just kind of sounds like. You know. Kind of sounds like a glitch. Um, well, I guess there really isn't much to say, considering I skipped most of it. I just was not having some of the stuff that I had to deal with. Some of which was very much my own impatience, but I'm glad I got to complete it, regardless. The new characters are actually, I think, a great idea and a great addition to Mario 3. Um, Hammer Bro suit seems like it would be cool, if very situational. Press select on maps and stages. Also, hold B and press select in stages. Select on maps and stages. Also, hold B. Huh? Oh. New warp zone. N new game plus. Oh, look at that! I guess we will get to see it after all. Ba -da -da -da. Yeah, it's not working. Whoa! What's this? You can charge? Oh, okay. I get it now. I thought the hammers were supposed to destroy blocks, but maybe not. But yeah, it's like the blue shell from the new Super Mario Brothers, though. Do Frog and Tanuki have anything? Karibo Shoe? Karibo Shoe confirmed. You can also just get this wherever you want, which is... I always wish this would be in more stages. The shoe was like a special treat, you know, because you only saw it once in a while.
Wait, does Mario change skin color? Huh. Oh, okay, was that in the original? I never fucking noticed that, if so. It was? I guess it's like a palette thing, because there's so lim limited colors on the NES, right? Huh. I was like, wait a minute. I guess I never noticed that. <laughs> chat. He becomes more Italian. Yeah, but chat member, you see how pale I am. I guess it just depends on where in Italy. I also don't tan well, I burn. You don't go outside. Yo, son! I go out a lot. Not in the winter, but I, f I feed them ducks and stuff. I go for lots of walks, bike rides. <laughs> Frog peach. Whoa. Oh, that's the peach statue. Chat, I gotta be honest, Tanuki peach... It looks very... Disconcerting. And there's the statue. Hammer Bros. Peach! Is she not turtly enough for the Turtle Club? No, 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 no. Oh, boy. I think we glitched a little bit there. I do love World 5, though. Wrong damn button. Always enjoyed this hidden area. Tanuki Toad. Hammer Toad. Yeah, that, that one's a weird one. That's like a really weird mid level secret. Or rather, early level secret. Luigi Frog jumps so fucking high. A little early look at some ice, ice land stuff. Yeah, World 5 is pretty great, too. Lots of memories here. And, and my imagination filled in the blanks. You can super jump directly out of midair? Um, out of gra midair ground pound, huh? Hmm. What was the, um... What was the level where... There were a ton of blocks. Was it three or this castle, maybe? It's like in blocks in the sky. It's the castle. Is it wait this castle or is it the um, the winding tower? I think it's the tower, right? Oh, here's the Karibo shoe level. 
Well, at least we get to check out some of the other levels. Not like anything's different in the actual levels, aside from the performance sucking. But, uh... It's always good to revisit Mario 3 for a little bit. Okay, now that I've finished this, I'm not going to promise Mario 3 full All-Star. Maybe in the future, when I'm in the mood for more Mario 3, I can do a full playthrough. But I defeated Bowser, Koopa. So, definitely stomp some Koopas, but, um... Yeah, if you want to watch me play Mario 3 in full... I, I think it exists already. Um, but in the future, I would like to revisit this game. Maybe the GBA version. Randomizer. Well, I've done- I think I've done Mario 3 Randomizer. Someone said I'm ready to snap to Bayonut. much... I don't think we can do very much of it, is the problem. Uh... Is it still happening? Incomprehensible sentence. Alright, let's break down the sentence, chat. I'm ready to snap to Bayonut. <laughs> that's a... That's a hell of a sentence. You need a lot of context for that one. part of the Hammer Bro suit. This right here, yeah, I like this. This tower area is fun. One of the reasons I liked it is because there is a secret here that I could almost never get. It's fine, it's normal. Imagine living in this castle and some asshole hits a P-switch! Says another chat member. Yep. I mean, it's the secrets that kept me coming back to this game. Ones that I discovered, like, years later, or ones that I, you know, would try to, like, get again, or maybe only got once. chat? Okay, now chat's gonna tell me that they heard noises, okay. Whoa, like, what the fuck even is this? Oh, right. There's wall jumps. I forgot about that. Whoa! Whoa! Wah! 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 <sighs> How the fuck are you supposed to do this in vanilla? Um, you really kind of don't. I mean, a P-Wing? So you have infinite flight, which is exactly what I tried to do. It's just a one-up. Imagine all that effort. 
Now, if that was some kind of, like, secret level that that would unlock, or maybe a Hammer Bros suit or something, fine, but otherwise it's just one singular one-up. So yeah, it's a little lame. But yeah, back in the day, I mean, just getting it was enough. Now it has to unlock Fort Bucks. Otherwise, it's not really worth getting. Though I do enjoy the um, aspect of the Yoshi coins, or rather the coins in the new Super Mario Brothers games, where you can get, like, the three hidden coins, and it unlocks stuff. Star coins, yeah. And then you have Sky. Once you're done down there, you get a whole, a whole new world. Pretty fucking glitchy world in this version. Damn. What just happened there? Huh. All right. Um. Okay. I think that'll be it. Well, uh, chat, I was thinking about playing Bayonetta, but I think I'm going to relax and lay down because my... I, sorry to do this again to Bayonetta, but my, um, my head is still kind of hurting. Uh, if I had finished Mario an hour ago, which I guess was never the plan, unless I like did a speed run or something, then yeah, I would have. But um, that was Mario Plus, Mario 3 Plus. So, yeah, uh, that'll be it for tonight. I have some good pre-recorded stuff on the way, and I also hopefully will get a chance to do um, a little bit of Bayonetta soon. I'm thinking, I don't know, I'll try to do some Bayonetta Thursday if I can. And uh, Callisto Part 3. I, is there really, like, a demand for me to play Callisto Part 3? Like, I see th maybe 2%, 3% yes. Let me think about it, chat. Let, let me see... Um, how I'm feeling about it, but at the moment, I'm not really seeing a point. Like, it's fine. The game is perfectly serviceable, but I probably just want to wait for Dead Space 3. Sorry, Dead Space Remake. I don't know why I said Dead Space 3. Um, I think I'll probably wait for that. Like, I'm appreciative that they sent me the stun stick from the game, but the game, you know what? While I play it, it's fine, but the more time I spend away from it, the more I'm like, yeah, I don't know if I want to play more of it. It's fine. Callisto gets really good after the initial 80 hours. Indeed. All right. Well, chat, once again, thank you. Um, I would like to let you know WarioWare Shake It is definitely on the docket. That's one of those games where once I'm done with some of the other shit I'm playing, that that is something I want to play for the very first time. And uh, I have a couple of other classic games that I've never played before. And some that I have that I would like to visit. I don't know when that's in WarioWare Snap It. <laughs> um, I don't know when that's going to be, but... Yeah, I have um, I have a, a list in my head, like a, a couple, couple games that are very interesting to me. And... Uh, Wario Land. Oh yeah, Wario Land Snap It. Vinny, here's the weird noise we heard. Let me hear. I didn't hear anything, chat. That's weird. I think, you know what? I heard this.
Okay, chat, I'm gonna go now. Um, sorry, Bayonutters, I'll see you soon with Bayonutter. Three. Have a good night. I'm gonna... hopefully sleep off a headache.